Hi everyone, Matt Watson here. So I've got another awesome car wide drag race for you today. I'm sat in a Lexus RCF track edition. Next to me is a BMW M4. Next to that is a Mercedes AMG C63S Coupe. Those Germans are both turbocharged. This is naturally aspirated. It might be the underdog. So I thought, why don't I bring along the previous generation versions of those two Germans, which are naturally aspirated, to see how they compare against this Lexus and against their newer versions. So I have a Mercedes W204 C63, and then next to that is a BMW E90 M3. So let me tell you about these cars engines. So the Lexus has a naturally aspirated V8. It's a five litre unit, 477 horsepower, 530 newton meters of torque, got an eight speed automatic gearbox, rear wheel drive. This car weighs in around 1750 kilos and it costs 60,000 pounds. The BMW, it has a three liter twin turbo straight six, 430 horsepower, 550 newton meters of torque, a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. It weighs in at 1650 kilos and costs around 67,000 pounds. Now the Mercedes, well, it has a four liter twin turbo V8 with 510 horsepower, 700 newton meters of torque, a nine speed automatic gearbox, rear wheel drive like all the other cars, and it weighs in at over 1800 kilos. Plus, it's quite expensive, You're looking around £77,000. So the old Mercedes has the largest engine here. It's a 6.2 litre naturally aspirated V8 with 460 horsepower and 600 newton metres of torque. The car has a seven speed automatic gearbox, obviously it's rear wheel drive, and it weighs in at around 1,650 kilos. The chap who bought it paid 19 grand for it. Finally, we come to the old M3. So that has a four litre naturally aspirated V8 with 420 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. It's got a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. Once again, rear wheel drive, and it weighs in at about 1600 kilos. That car is worth 25 grand. So that's all the facts you need to know. There's quite a lot of them. Before we actually race the cars, let's just do a sound check, shall we? Or if you really rev it up. Oh, the intake on this. It's quite good. Go on, give the M4 some revs. Let's have a listen to the C63 Coupe. Oh, it sounds like the Mercedes has a soft limiter. Not great. Let's have a listen to the old C63. And finally then, let's have a listen to the old M3. I'm too far away from the cars at the other end to really tell. <laughs> so what I need you to do is click on the pop-out banner up there to vote which car you think sounds the best. All right, you done that? One last thing before we get on with the race, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you'll be alerted when we make a new upload so you won't miss a single thing. Seeing as these are rear wheel drive cars, we should really warm their tires before we race because we might get tough results. It's quite easy in this car. I can just hold it on the brake and do this. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Go through the gear. <laughs> That's a smoky one. Smoking. The other cars, They've got to go and do some donuts. power kills me. I love the fact that the old C63 has been the new one. Oh my gosh. Well, that was interesting. I had a brilliant launch in this. Absolutely brilliant. What happened in the M4? You absolutely had me off the line, but then I hit second gear and this thing just 
took off. What happened to this C63 coupe? It wants to shift up, it wants to shift down, but then once you go in, it's all right. The launch just cocked up in it? Y yeah, basically. That W204 shot off the line, it came second, it beat me. Oh, the launch control system on this is actually pretty good, but this engine is just amazing. What happened to the old M3? It's an older car, but once it gets going, it did pretty well. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the BMW M4 did the standing quarter mile in 12.4 seconds. The old C63 took 12.6 seconds. The Lexus took 12.7 seconds. The new C63S took 12.8 seconds. And the old M3 took 13 seconds. Now, AMG fanboys are probably complaining about the new C63S's poor launch. So, to appease them, let's give it a second chance. See if it can do better this time. Daddy off the line every single go. Every single go. Like, no problem at all. It's played out the same. Yet again, the C63S struggled to put its power down getting off the line. However, initial traction won't matter in the next challenge. Now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The cars are in normal or comfort mode and the gearboxes are in automatics. Just chilling out, cruising along as you do. Then suddenly someone goes, three, two, one, go! Kick down, that kicked down well. Oh, here we go. C63 coupe showing its metal now. But so is the old one. Poor old E90. That's it, guys. It slowed down. That's it. Might even kick down really, really well, but that C63 coupe just shot off. What the heck happened? It was just quite quick. Quicker than everyone else, I suppose. Was the M4 catching it at all? No, we were pretty much level pegging. Once he got away, that was it. We were doing 130 and we were holding steady. What happened with the old C63? Yeah, the actual gearbox wasn't too bad, you know, but it, it didn't have the power. So now we're going to have a rolling race, but locked in third gear in manual mode, and the cars are in their sportiest setting. Are you ready, guys? Now count it in. Three, two, one, go! This picks up really good. The throttle response is amazing. It just doesn't have the torque. I'm amazed at the old C63. It looks like it's ahead almost. That's got torque and throttle response. That's over, guys. Well, that was interesting. I mean, I saw a race happening way off in the distance. BMW M4, what happened? Well, I thought I got a good start, and then I saw both C63s absolutely blitz past. So what happened in the new C63? Did you take off first, or did the old one just get ahead? I'll be honest, to begin with, I wasn't looking right because I thought he'd lose. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I did look right, there was a C63 there, and he passed me at 155. Old E90 M3, what was going on with you? It was a lot closer this time, much better response with the transmission in proper sport mode, but you didn't quite have the legs. Well, for you fanboys, you know that back in the day, the C63 was a lot quicker. It's all about capacity, and the Mercedes had it. Now we're going to do a brake test from 70 miles an hour when we hit the line, full emergency stop. Guys, I've got a brake system malfunction. I'm going to have to bail. Bye, BMW. Oh, pants. I lost that. I think the C63 might have won, but I don't know who came second and third. Old C63, what's the score between you and the old M3? Well, from here, it looks like I just about picked it. It's very close. The new 63 beat you, right? Yeah, I can see that pretty clearly, yeah. Not much, but I can see it. I can do something to score some extra points. How about that then, eh? <laughs> it's on air ride, that, so he's just slammed it. You're not getting extra points for that. You're actually going to lose some. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> There's your result. I enjoyed it. Now, if you want to follow the people who have actually provided us with these cars. Their Instagram accounts are linked below for the owner of the M3, the M4, and the old C63. 
Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Amar Watson Cars. All right, anyway, I'll see you next time. Now, all you BMW fans are probably wondering what happened with the M4's brakes. Well, it turns out that its pads were running low and needed replacing, hence the warning. It's as though the car somehow knew what we were about to do to it and threw in the towel rather than destroy its brake discs. How very sensible. <laughs>